Buongiorno, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that is the that is the uh, extent of my Italian knowledge. But nevertheless, welcome along to tonight's XRL coverage. We are already at effectively the halfway point in the season. It is round five of eleven because uh, yes. with the announcement we had a couple of weeks ago of when the new game is coming out, uh, we had to shorten the season from. 13 races to 11. But nevertheless, we are here at an iconic circuit, the Temple of Speed. We are here at Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. And joining me in the commentary box, as always, is the boss of the league himself. He's back after a week away uh, due to family commitments. The boss himself, Cesar Lopez. Welcome along this evening. Thank you very much, Kenzie. Yes, last weekend it was... My daughter's birthday, so I couldn't miss that one, even though I, I wanted F1. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, it was it was a. It's going to be a very good and very interesting race today. Monza is full of turn one incidents, uh, overtakes in the main straight, uh, some guys going into the into the uh, Ascari uh, too wide too, uh, <laughs> two or three wide of oh, this guy she came oh yeah that, <laughs> hello, that's Jay never Le gonna work Jay Levanit slow saying in the chat hello hello yeah <clears throat> yeah and, so, and yeah I, let me tell you something uh, I believe you were not in the race yesterday right in the dev uh, no I was um I was uh, okay. I was with friends uh, last night so yeah don't worry it we saw the comeback of the mechanical sack, XRL sack, Anthony Bauer in the Dev League. Oh my word. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. XRL he got pole position, royalty, by the way. XRL royalty in the Dev League last night, folks. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, watch it back yet, definitely go back and watch it because what you'll see from. Anthony Bauer, or Zach as he's more commonly known, what you'll see from him is biblical. Two-time driver's champion and two-time constructor's champion. So anyway, I'm just on board with Andrea. Just now it's his home race, so he'll be out to make a very strong impression as he comes down towards the Retifilio chicane. Close on 210 miles an hour, breaks down to just 55 on entry for the uh, first part of the chicane now accelerating through the gears round to the curve of Grande taking a lot of the curb there to try and keep us um, to try and get as tight a line as possible as he heads down towards the Della Rosia chicane that's a very strong first sector there 85 miles an hour on exit and now round to the Lesmos about 170 miles an hour on entry then down to 115 accelerating back up to about 170 breaks down to 115 as he heads on to the second DRS straight the first one being down uh, the pit straight as he heads towards the Ascari chicane at nearly 210 miles an hour clocks out at 208 breaks down to 125 on entry very smooth through there that is testament to how amazing yeah, these drivers are. Smooth. Yeah, very smooth there. You'll say it's more often than not you see drivers 
putting it into the wall at that chicane as we head round the parabolic at about 115 miles an hour. Obviously going going for the tighter line on the uh, entry and then a wider line on the exit, keeping as close to the pit wall as possible. And there he goes across the line, the first lap of this evening with a 119.962. Liam in the Ferrari with a 120.3. Asda in the Red Bull, a 121.0. This is incredible. These guys are making 119s in Q1 and all in Q3 yesterday in Dev League. I, all I could do was a 129, 121.4, I believe. <laughs> yeah. These guys are fast. Uh, we have the weather report yeah. already. It's going to be all dry, but 14% chance in rain, in, in, of rain in the race. Yes. Yeah, so who knows? <clears throat> So there's still a relatively low chance of uh, rain yes. in the race, but uh, you just you just never know with um, you just never know with the weather these days. Uh, Zen guy is just coming down the uh, back straight towards uh, Parabolica now. Uh, the Tofos the Tofosi will be uh, in high spirits uh, at the moment with uh, two Italian cars. One and two. Is it going to be one, two, and three? Not quite. A Zen guy. Uh, he must have had it off somewhere, so that would be a 139. One that would just be an exploratory lap for him. So let's see who else we have on a. Well, we've got a few drivers out. XIX, that's Ledger. Uh, Matrix is on an out lap, so he'll be starting his relatively soon. So we'll go with um, Ledger at the moment as he's coming up towards the Ascari chicane. Is he going to have enough fuel to? Uh, is, is he going to have enough fuel to finish this lap though? Because the fuel light is flashing on his car. It's a little concerning. But here he comes round the last corner, round Parabolica, and across the line. That's a 120.9. That's a very respectable time from Ledger. And here comes. Ah, there we go. There's 2D there. A 120.4. That's a very strong lap there. Jacob with a 120.121019. Sasha about to start uh, his lap. Zen guy having another cr having another bite of the cherry. What can he pull out this time? It's a 21.5. That only puts him eighth at the moment. I would imagine he should be okay for the time being. Uh, so you've got three Italian teams here. You've got the Ferraris, you've got the Alfa Romeos, and of course you've got the Alfa Tauris. Formerly Toro Rosso, which is Red Bull in Italian, for those that don't know. And the Ascari chicane that Matrix just went through, named of course after two-time Formula One world champion Alberto Ascari, champion in 52 and 53, as Matrix comes around the last corner. And across the line, what's he going to set? It's another 121. There's not much in it in the midfield at the moment, but time will tell. Sasha, meanwhile, is just coming through the Ascari chicane now. Because there's 16 drivers on the grid, uh, you're only going to be lo Well, actually, make that 17. Uh, there's 17 drivers on the grid, so we'll be losing just two drivers from this part of uh, qualifying. Sasha comes around the, uh, the Parabolica in the, uh, the Haas. Uh, we'll get the championship standings up uh, shortly as yes. Sasha comes across the line. A 120.169. That puts him second at the moment. That's a phenomenal lap from uh, from Sasha. Uh, we've got CVT and Hurricane on laps as well. But CVT is just round at Curva Grande. And Hurricane we have the standings has on a, screen. Has his lap. So yeah, there are the there are the uh, standings. Um, there are the standings uh, at the moment. You've got Frisdy at the top of the standings with 71 points, with Sasha second with 62, Starfish 53, Bullbeast 53, uh, Starfish 54, sorry. Uh, and then, then you've got Waldo, Matrix, Andrea, Lomitree, Gabo, and Hurricane. That's your top 10 at the moment. Interesting, and then... interesting that, that Frisdy's not racing. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, especially especially given the fact that he's the defending uh, champion, he can't. I say, 
So with how tight it is between him and Sasha, he can't afford to get, let Sasha get any good results here because with how short the season is, one, if you miss one race and your rival gets a very strong result, that could be the end of the championship. Exactly. Even one missing one race, as we said at the start, missing one race can mean the loss of the championship. So it's going to be very, very interesting how, how it falls. I, I, be, uh, I believe I believe we're going to be having a last round decider championship. Championship decider. Oh, that 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 would be very, very tasty because it's not very often we get it's not very often we get a championship decider at the final race of the season. We have had it on a couple of occasions uh, in um, X1 history, um, but uh, we haven't we haven't had it for uh, a couple of seasons yet. But here comes Wado now. 120.8 that puts him ahead of his teammate by just over a tenth Wado of course being our first ever x1 champion at the home of the xrl in mexico it's going to be very Waldo. very interesting yeah Waldo. oh he's just invalidated that's unlucky so we'll uh uh jaleb coming through the uh Della Rosa chicane up to the uh, Lesmos. So we got and so we'll just quickly go through the lineup. We've got Andreas, Sasha, Jacob, Liam, QD, CVT, Watto, uh, Ledger, Matrix, uh, XIX, uh, Matrix, Asda, Low, Hurricane, Zengai, Waldo, Jaleb, Zola, and uh, Mr. Weirson or JBL as he's um, uh, often been referred to. Jaleb just coming through the Ascari chicane there. Very smooth in that, Williams. And, um, for, a lot, for a lot of long-time F1 fans, on a more serious note, uh, this is uh, a bit of a poignant weekend, um, if you will, because uh, today, of course, marks the anniversary of um, the death of arguably the greatest driver in F1 history, Ayrton Senna. Uh, and it was, it, it just capped off the most horrific weekend in Formula One history with that crash from Ruby Barrichello in free practice on the Friday, the death of Roland Ratzenberger in qualifying on the Saturday, and then all capped off with Senna's death at the um, at the race itself. And uh, the, um, uh, the, the, thing that, uh, the thing that some fans... Uh, don't often acknowledge is I mean yes yes Senna's the more prevalent figure in uh, Formula One so they'll remember uh, his name they don't often mention Ratzenberger's name yeah it's a sad week I, I, I totally forgot about that actually you know it was this weekend yeah it's um I was I was, I was actually just watching the um, I was actually watching the Senna documentary um, earlier before uh, before going live and it's without question one of the best sports documentaries that I've ever watched oh yeah the, and I'm not and I'm, and I'm not I'm not just saying that because of my f1 bias but it is genuinely a phenomenal documentary if you guys haven't had a chance to watch it yet yeah it's it's very it's very well made to be honest yeah uh, and it actually it actually won a number of awards uh, during award season, including uh, best documentary at the BAFTA Awards here in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. So, like I said, it does have a number of awards uh, under its belt, but uh, the bi the biggest thing the the biggest thing as far as uh, awards is concerned is that it wasn't even considered for best documentary at the Oscars. That year as well, which there's there's no sugarcoating it is absolutely criminal that it didn't even get considered. Yeah, to be honest, it's a very 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 good documentary. Yeah, but um, but I, I'm I'm not I'm not part of the academy, so I'm not the one that makes the um, decisions <laughs> we, on what films we, get nominated. We would love to be part of the academy, right? <laughs> Imagine giving, <laughs> the, giving all those prizes in base and your. To, uh, to Formula One related media, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, and but, we're uh, having next week. We're having the Miami GP. That's 
Yes, so we're, so there's going to be no XRL action next week, folks, because uh, we're going to be we're going to be enjoying the first ever Miami Grand Prix. As Zola's gone into the wall, that's at the Ascari chicane. I was saying earlier, it's very easy to spin at that corner, and there you go. That's the first victim of the night. Zola into the Ascari chicane, and that is him out of qualifying. It's going to be difficult to go to. To make the run up to a top ten, <laughs> so that, yeah, boys, get in. <laughs> yeah, because of course it is, it's because of course it is uh, just it is the traditional scoring system that we have here, folks. Twenty-five for a win, eighteen for second, down to one point for tenth place. But you've also got bonus points on offer throughout uh, this evening as well. You've got a point for getting pole position in qualifying, and then you've also got points for the fastest lap, both inside and outside uh, the top 10. We got Andrea retiring from the session. He's more than happy with his time at the moment. He's the only one that's managed to get into the 119s Two at the moment. Sasha. Two tenths from Sasha. Two tenths from Sasha. That's a huge gap. Yeah. So consider, and, uh, consider it five laps and you have a second there. Yeah, exactly. So got, uh, a few drivers starting to retire from the session now, so <laughs> they're more than happy with their, their times at the moment as... We just saw Asda cross the line. He's managed to improve by nearly half a second. A 120.6, that puts him sixth at the moment in the Red Bull. We had, it looks like we had another uh, another improvement there. That was Wado. He gets himself 1,000th ahead of Asda. So it's still anyone's guess as to who's going to get eliminated here in this first part of qualifying. We already know Zola is going to be out. JLab needs to get at least a 121.4, which is a huge ask. That's basic. He needs to make an entire second to have any chance of getting into the second part of uh, qualifying. There we go, Waldo retiring from the session. He's happy with his time as well. What can JLeb do? He is he is elected to stay with the same set of softs that he had in his first in his first run. And that was Matrix. He gets a 120.5. What can he do? It's oh it's not it's not enough for JLeb at the moment. To 121.9, but he still needs to find half a second. I don't. I don't think he's going to have time. I don't think he's going to have time to do that. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think J Lad's going to have time to do another lap here. But in saying that, though, he is up on his lap. He is up on his uh, best time so far. So it's going to be either JLeb or Hurricane that gets eliminated here in Q1. Coming down towards the Ascari Chicane now. He needs to make up half a second to have a chance of getting through. And he's, uh, it's still not enough. He's only half a tenth up. And Oh, that's it. He's invalidated. That's it. JLeb's out. That's a real shame. He was up on his time, but it wasn't enough for him to secure a place in Q2. But he had invalidated going through the Ascari chicane. But that is it. It is JLeb and Zola that are out of qualifying. So Hurricane will be breathing a huge sigh of relief there. So Andrea at the moment, top of the time sheet. So he'll have a bit of momentum on his side. Heading into Q2, the Tifosi will be happy with that one, but it's not for the Italian car they were expecting.
We're just waiting for uh, everything to finish. Just... I'm, 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 doing, yeah. I'm sorting something real quick. Okay, I'll, I'll be here. Just right. we will be muted for around two, two or three minutes. That's fine. So we got uh, low. There we go. Low gets across the line. So there we go. That's Q1 out of the way. Oh, Andreas. Avatar looks like Nick Jonas from the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure whether he'll appreciate that reference or not. Uh, but, so, uh, sorry about that. It's the Avatar, you know. It's <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, anyway. Uh, Andrea, Sasha, Jacob, Liam, 2D, Matrix, Wado, Asda, Waldo, CVT, JBL, Ledger, Zengai, Low, and Hurricane through into the second part of qualifying. Hurricane actually got through on the mediums. Interestingly, he's elected to use the mediums. And he still managed to get through by half a second. And it's Jaleb and Zola out. In so he's going to have one. one set of softs, one extra set of softs to, to use and on Q2 or Q3, it's going to be great. Absolutely. Absolutely. That'll starting be a starting this, a... this, 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 this race at mediums in, in Monza is very difficult. With the amount of speed that carries the, the soft tires, it's, it's going to be very difficult to start on the medium tires. I think the best strategy will be softs, mediums, but not medium softs. Yeah, it's a, let's say it's a very... Comfort it's a very easy one stop around this track. Yeah, however, yesterday while practicing before Dev League, uh, Sola noticed something. The 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 the, the medium tire was was bad at uh, at practice. I don't know why it was bad. I also felt it it was bad. Uh, but uh, in the race, it felt really good. So that's very tricky. Maybe because of the of the amount of grip and rubber that it, it was already in the track. But I don't know. It was something really, really weird. <clears throat> so now it's time. So yeah. Um, so as um, as Caesar said, it is optimal. To use the um, to start on the soft tires. So Hurricane is the lead car out on track, so he'll be the first to set a lap time. Going round Curva Grande now. Ooh, takes a lot of the curb, almost goes onto the grass there. What can he pull out the bag here now that he's got an extra set of softs at his disposal? Coming up to the Ascari Chicane. And then down the back straight uh, hurricane at the moment. Um, we've got Asda on a lap as well. Ledger, Jacob, Liam, Asda, Andrea, Low, all on laps as well at the moment. But here comes Hurricane across the line, a 120.7. It's a good starting time for him. Got one of the McLarens, 121.9 on the mediums. 
Liam of 120.9 on the softs. As they're coming around the last corner. Now, what is he going to put that? What's he going to put in? He's gone for a medium run with 121.6. And so it's safe to say that the, uh, the, the medium tyres are about a second a lap slower than the softs, which, um, which backs up uh, Caesar's earlier statement of uh, uh, soft-medium being the better strategy around this track. So we've got... Uh, so we've got 2D now coming round the Ascari chicane now, down the back straight. I oh know he's scratched that. He's on an out lap. Uh, is Andre on a hot lap behind him? Yes, he is. And oh no, Andre is out of fuel. It looks like he had invalidated his first lap, and he didn't have enough fuel for his second run. Oh, that is not what he needed. That's a set of softs out the window. That is really, really unlucky there. And oh, Jacob's gone! Jacob is out, and I completely missed that. What happened to Jacob? Matrix, meanwhile, he goes fastest with a 120.4. That's huge. That's one driver that's not going to be... Uh, So it doesn't look like, uh, so only dead. Oh, Tootie's gone as well! That's two gone at the Ascari Chicane! Jacob and Tootie both out. We don't know what, we still don't know what happened to Jacob at the moment, but we do know Tootie in the Ascari Chicane. Now we're just going to be losing another three drivers as a result of Jacob and Tudy both being I'm back. Uh, eliminate. Uh, well, well Tudy crashed out. We still, we're still trying to get. Ah, there we go. We've had two more victims there at the Ascari chicane while you were away. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Jacob and Tudy both out. They didn't even get to set a lap time, so we're only going to be losing another three drivers. But the other thing to take into account with this second part of qualifying is the tyres that you set your fastest lap on are the tyres that you'll be starting the race on if you make it into the top 10. Sorry about the popping sound, by the way. <laughs> People were getting it. It was on my computer. My bad. Ah. Yeah. Which, um... I was talking to Kenzie before the 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 quali started. Uh, Motorsport Manager has an F1 mod I'm playing. It's really really interesting. And if you are interested yeah. in in the F1 2022 Manager game that's coming out, uh, mm -hmm. maybe maybe try it and uh, try. Oh, try that's Motorsport. a spin! That's a spin! Oh. That's a spin for Andrea. He's managed to keep it out of the wall. That was at Della Rosa. But he's going to need to let the McLarens through. The McLarens giving each other a toe. And it's led, and it's led oh, at the nice. front. Wardo. That, that's, that's well played from the McLaren. That's well played from the McLaren, boys. Yeah, that's team play. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen this happen numerous times. We have the teammates 
especially round this round this track, giving each other the toe. But um, but as but as Lopez was saying, uh, there's there's an F1 2022 mod in uh, Motorsport Manager where you can actually get the F1 2022 grid with the um, with the cars that they uh, they have uh, as well. Uh, and I was saying to him as well that it's been a while since I've actually played uh, Motorsport Manager, so I so I definitely need to get back into it so I can try this mod out. Yeah, if 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 anyone could try it, uh, to be honest, it's fantastic. Oh, Jaleb saying he's playing it himself. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's I I can't wait for the F1 2022 Manager uh, game of Frontier Developments. Frontier Developments that which actually is. Uh, they made yes, they, uh, uh, the Su Tycoon and uh, Jurassic Park World, Elite Dangerous, yes, which is yes, one of did. my favorite games ever. It's amazing how they how they simulate the management stuff. To be honest, they go very yeah, in depth. absolutely. So I can't wait for it. <laughs> That's why I'm, yeah. I'm I'm killing time with <laughs> Motorsport Manager old game, but with the mod it looks fantastic. I, uh, Jaleb saying Iron Haas with Seth and Lewis as my drivers. How did you get them to to sign for Haas? <laughs> well, that's, that's a valid point. How Cash is king, right? That? Cash is king. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's it. I'll, I'll say this: three constructors' titles as well. Wow. Right. Fair play, so, yeah. Um. I'll. I'll, I'll so I'll, I'll just get this out of the way right now. It's uh, This isn't my recommendation of the week, folks, but uh, if you guys are wanting to get Motorsport Manager right now, big shout out to CD Keys being one of our sponsors, alongside Anti3D and the Drive61 Sim Academy. Uh, you can get a, you can get a code for a Motorsport ri Manager right now. 82% off on CD Keys right now if you guys are wanting to get it for relatively cheap. Nice. That was quick. That was a quick search. <laughs> we are just talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. But 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 I do I do have another very tasty. Uh, but I do have a a, a very uh, tasty recommendation oh. uh, for those that are, that are fans of uh, one of Xbox's most successful franchises. I say I it, we're in Q two, and uh, yeah, you can you can if if you have only one recommendation we can wait for it. But if you have more than one we can we can shoot it out. Uh, yeah, um, so so while we're waiting for uh, drivers to start their um, uh, their next laps, um, apparently Ledger doesn't have a helmet on. We'll see. We'll see. We'll oh. see that. And it's, it's not the foot. And it's not the first time we've seen that bug in this game. I mean, and, it's even happened. It's even it's even happened to me on a couple of occasions as well, where where people have been watching. Uh, watching me on the broadcast cam, and apparently I didn't have a helmet on. <laughs> Safety doesn't matter in Monza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I say, I say, what was the uh, the recommendation that I was going to put in for this week is for Gears of War three. Oh, that's which is backward, which is backwards compatible on Xbox One. Because it originally came out on the 360, and it's backwards compatible on um, on Xbox One. It's the it's the uh, concluding part of the original trilogy involving Marcus Phoenix and Dominic Santiago, and everything that we've gone through over the previous two games all comes to a head with one of the toughest sacrifice scenes to. Uh, get through, and I won't go into sp I won't I won't go into too much detail regarding it in case there's anybody out there that hasn't played it yet. As Waldo um, had a spin at the Ascari, she came managed to keep it out of the wall. But, uh, but if you guys are wanting to get if you guys are wanting to get Gears of War three um, right now, you are able to do so on CD keys with a massive ninety three percent off Ooh. right now. If you got if you guys are wanting to get it right now. That is a great, great discount there. Yeah. As I, as I, as I, I have played through a majority of the uh, uh, the Gears uh, the Gears series. I've played through one, two, and three, Judgment, and four. I haven't started. 
I did start Gears Five, but that was like a while back. I haven't got I haven't got back round to uh, continuing it yet. But um, I'll get that rectified at some point. This is this is basically this is basically like my um, my watch list on Disney Plus. The what the the list continues to grow, and I'm not making and I'm still not making any like significant effort to like um, uh, make that list smaller by actually getting through that list. Uh, what? Which list? Oh wait, I'll say what. I'll say it's. Uh, I've, I've got. I've got. A, I've got a now pretty extensive watch list on them. Um, oh yes, yes, My yes, Disney yes. Plus account. Yeah, yeah. And I still and I still haven't got round to actually. Wait, which is your next finishing... one? Which is your next one? Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've still got. I've still got Loki to finish. I still need oh, to start. No. I still Loki. I still need to start Hawkeye, and I, I need to start Moon Knight as well. Oh, you need to finish Loki. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. I'm determined to get all those done before Doctor Strange Two comes out later this yes. week. You, you need, you need to. You definitely need to. Yeah. Um. But um. But yeah, that's it. But, 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 but like, like I say, in terms of like, um. Uh, like a, a playlist, if you will, of uh, games that I've yet to play. I've still got a pretty extensive backlog that I need to get through, uh, but um, and and one of them, one of them being Elden Ring. Yes, I still haven't started Elden Ring yet, folks, but I am determined to rectify that ASAP. It's a great game, but yeah. you, you, so there we go. Visually, it's fantastic. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, Checker flag is out, and Wado has invalidated his lap, so he'll be out. Um, Waldo also out uh, as well. So it's going to be down to either Ledger or Zengai to see who gets through Great into from Wado. the Z Great second part of uh, qualifying. Yeah, that's well played. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Zola's right. Ledger's got no helmet on. <laughs> Zola's right. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I say yeah, Ledger almost a he's a full second up. He just needs to be careful. He doesn't invalidate Parabolica, and he's run out of fuel. Are you kidding no. me? No, no. Oh, that is brutal. Well, maybe not. He's on the P11. He maybe he wants to go on the mediums. Yeah, but but take into account what you said earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, I'm not sure. You don't want to start on mediums here. Yeah, but that is absolutely gutting for Ledger. But maybe he, was he's a aiming for, you know, <laughs> you can never know. The best spot to start on mediums is P11. Very true. However, it's turn one. Yeah, exactly, but can, oh can my it. word. If he hadn't run out of fuel, that would have put him near the top of the timesheets. Yep, definitely. It was one second. He was one second up, and the gap yeah. was 1.1 to, to pole position. Well, to P1. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Hurricane JBL Matrix, Andrea, CVT, Asda, Sasha, Liam. Low and Zengai all through into the top 10 shootout. Ledger, Waddle, um, Waddington, Waldo, Jacob, and Tudy all out. But they will have free choice of tire. So Ledger is going to be kicking himself over that. But Sasha and Andrea in a relatively prime position in the top 10, which means they'll have a longer first stint on those mediums. And I want to remind... Oh, it's stable. Why it's so stable? 
I want to remind you that we also have an F3 league. We're going to be having it on. Uh, it's it's going to be at 2 p.m. same time as X2, so you can either watch F3 or you can watch uh, X2. Yes, or you can watch both because they're in, the, in different channels. <laughs> yes, that's true because the uh, because the uh, the F3 is uh, on PC through our uh, through our iRacing uh, division for the XRL. Here we go. It is shootout time for pole position. Top 10 shootout. Okay. Daily deals. So, yeah. So, I think, I I'm think sure. personally, yep. it will be, uh, well, as I said earlier, with Andrea being at the top of the timesheets for uh, Q1, you've got to think he's going to have a psychological advantage over everybody else but in saying that though you've got uh, you've got Andrea and Sasha both on mediums so it could be between those two for pole position yeah uh, Sasha, uh, Andrea has been looking uh, fast today very very fast to be honest but Sasha you know he can surprise everyone as always he can get the pole position. He's got them some pole positions. Oh, John here. <laughs> Excel John saying go Sasha. Remember we're going to have yeah. the F3 race. I'm going to be racing today in the F3 race. I'm not sure nice. how I'm going to do. I'm not fast at all, but I am consistent. So I'm going to go for the bet of just surviving. <laughs> and try to get try to get some points just by surviving, so Exactly, I don't race, I drive to survive. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, you know, that's true. <laughs> that. Oh, and we have a spin from Sasha, just... Uh, oh, just that's after not... What... Parabolic. That area. is not what he needed at all. Tires are damage now remember in this game when you spin your tires get a lot of wear so it's going to be tricky he has he doesn't have the speed he's going to go for another uh he's going to be a second outlap can i withdraw yeah, my support for such <laughs> yeah, but he'll, yeah, yeah but he'll need he'll need he'll need to be careful with his fuel though depending on how much he has yeah, yeah. look 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 at jonas in the chat uh, go sasha and then can i withdraw my support for sasha <laughs> <laughs> After he spins. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, must have, um, I have, um, I mentioned it a while back, folks. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll just, I'll just bring it up here again. That, um, um, with, um, that I'm actually going to be at Silverstone. For the British Grand Prix this year, I'm oh, gonna really? be. I'm gonna be. I, said, I, brought, I brought it up a while back, but I said just thought I'd just thought I'd bring it uh, bring it up again that I am gonna be at Silverstone for the. Do you, um, have, do you have your ticket British already? Grand Prix. Uh, well, I've got I've got somebody that works for um I've got somebody that works for for an events company, and um, and they and now and now the event now the now the events are starting to get back up and running, uh, they've um. Uh, they've uh, they've one of the events they've got is the British Grand Prix, nice. and yeah, and they they know how big a fan of F1 that I am. They're they're actually a pretty big F1 fan as well, so works both ways. Nice. Yeah, Andrea with a one twenty point zero five seven top of the timesheets at the moment. Let's let's try if you, if you go if you get in there, let's try to to make a. Uh, coverage from there. Ah, yes, that's that's 
that's part of the plan for the weekend. Not just not just meeting some uh, fellow, not just meeting some fellow league racers, but also at the same time uh, being able to provide some coverage for uh, the weekend because the, because we've also got uh, because you've also got the W series. Oh, nice! That, at Silver, you've got the W series coming to Silverstone uh, this season, um, as well with them. Um, with a, there's a lot of British drivers on the grid, including current two-time W Series champion Jamie Chadwick chasing oh, Jamie Chadwick. title number three. She she's a great driver, to be honest. She's two times world champion in the W Series. That's really yeah. Cool. Yes, and she'll she'll be getting her W Series campaign underway next week at Miami. They are actually going to be racing in Mexico too this year. Yeah, that oh, that is gonna that is gonna be an absolute blast for them. Mexico is gonna be the season finale for them. Oh really? Um, yeah, and they may and in terms of business for the W Series, they have my they managed to land themselves a lucrative three year deal for broadcasting the races live on Sky Sports. Oh nice. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll still be showing the highlights. Oh! Oh my word, Sasha almost went airborne! Oh. Goodness me, that was the Della Rocha. He almost went airborne! How like... he didn't put it in... How he didn't put it into the wall is beyond me! But, um... Oh, he's, that's he's what I'm saying. It's, 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 yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a three-year deal that they managed to secure with Sky Sports. And him in the UK, Channel 4 will still be showing the highlights of the races as well. On top of showing... Uh, the Silverstone race live as well. Yeah, so, I, I I think they should get more exposure. To be honest. Yeah. You say you say they are gonna get they're gonna get more exposure being on such a prestigious platform such as Sky Sports, and especially with the amount of money that's been put into the de into the deal, which means. Like I, um, in terms of business, it means potentially more money to invest in the future of a relatively new championship. Yeah, I, I would love to. I would have loved to be in the Mexico GP this year, but it was impossible to take to get tickets. I was in three sales. Ah, yeah. Three pre-sales, but it was impossible. The, the oh, fan, the, the fan, the fans in F1 of F1 in Mexico has grown incredibly after Checo. Especially, especially with. I was about to say, especially with the success that Checo had yeah. over the course of the last couple of seasons, and that podium at last year's Mexican Grand Prix. Yeah, exactly. It's it's insane, man. And there was no chance I could get. And the, and the resale now, it's it's for a ticket. Oh. At, for example, the the tickets and the stadium section, they are around two hundred and fifty US dollars. That would be around two hundred. Quid, probably. Be you say that would be that would be about two hundred pounds over here yeah, in the UK. Two pounds, two hundred pounds, more or less. And the resale right now is is for six hundred pounds for a ticket in the stadium so the, section. So, so, so yeah, for a ticket at the stadium section, you're looking at double what it no, would triple. normally be. Yeah, it's, it's triple, triple, triple even. Yeah, really, it's, triple, triple, it's it's incredible how how the resale is, is here. Yeah, and there we go. Sasha going top of the timesheet for the 120.017. He's four hundredths ahead of Andrea, who is on a hot lap at the moment. He's got his teammate ahead of him. Is he going to be close enough to be able to get a toe heading down the back straight? So it looks it looks like he's getting closer, but his teammate is on an outlap at the moment. I don't think Andrea is going to be close enough to be able to get a toe off of low at the moment. He might be able to get one down the back straight up to Parabolica. But with where he is right now compared to low, he's he's a bit too far back. And he's lost a little bit of time as a result. Here we go. Andra getting a toe from low. This is actually good teamwork too. Yeah, that yeah, that's definitely gonna work in his favour. Just needs to be careful not to invalidate Parabolica. There he goes. And across the line. And that's a... Oh, that's a huge time. 119.693. Oh, 
Oh, that's what a, a lad time from Andrea, time. and the Tifosi are gonna go absolutely bananas if he secures ball position here. Because the key, because this, because that's a case of Sasha setting that time, managing to beat Andrea. Andrea responding, seeing, saying, Sasha, let's see you beat that time this. <laughs> and let's we see have, you beat that time. We have the champ in the chat. We have the champion in the chat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Frizzy. Yeah, Frizzy in the chat. But um. But as but as I said, he's uh, as we said, he's not racing. Uh, this evening for whatever reason. Matrix goes third with a one twenty point zero five three. And we've got the uh, Alpine of uh, JBL, he's invalidated his lap. And Andre... No way. I've just seen... I've just seen Andre's uh, sector splits. He was two tenths up and he's... Oh my word, he's gone even faster! What? He's got... <laughs> he wants to make doubly sure that he gets that pole position. No Sasha. pressure, Sasha, but that's nearly six tenths that Sasha needs to make up. And he hasn't got his teammate to help him. <sighs> that is going to be a huge lap for him to be as the retired from the session. He'll start at best P6. This is gonna. This is gonna be a. This is gonna need to be the lap of his life to secure that pole position and break the hearts of the Tifosi in the stands. We'll see what happens. Got a few cars coming around to finish uh, their laps. JBL will be the first to finish his. I don't think he's going to have time for another lap. And so he, because he'll need to charge his ERS up. But nevertheless, here we go. Round the final corner. What can JBL set? That's a 120.8. That puts him eighth at the moment. And I think the, uh, yeah, that's, that's just Andrea. He's fine. And he's, uh, well, actually, scratch that. He's not fine because he's just run out of fuel. But that's okay. He's done all he can. In terms of getting a lap time in. There we go. There's the checker flag out. And oh, CBT just invalidates at the end at Parabolica. So he'll start at best P5. Zen guy also out of fuel. He'll start at best P7. Liam has invalidated. Only Hurricane and Sasha can improve on their lap times. But I don't think... Hurricane is going to be improving on his, but no, he's down at the moment. And there he goes. And, oh, Sasha's made a Sasha must have made a mistake somewhere. He's 1.3 seconds down. Ooh, and he's gone spinning. He's gone spinning. That's it. Sasha's chances of Paul have gone up in smoke. And the Tifosi have just gone absolutely bananas. Because Andrea, an Italian driver, racing for Alfa Romeo, an Italian team has just gone and stuck it on pole position. The nice. mind games of improving on his lap time worked in his favor. JBL improves on his lap time. He starts fifth with a 120.347. But the big talking point here is Sasha chokes under the pressure. He was up on his first sector time and then he lost it. Through the Ascari chicane, didn't put it into the wall, and Andrea secures pole position with a monstrous half a second advantage. And we have a uh, pole right now. We have a prediction on chat. Ah, yes. Let's see it's what. Time that... to bet. Time to bet. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can win some channel points here with this prediction. Will there be a safety car or a virtual safety car on the first lap? We'll see how that all plays out. Safety so yeah, car. let's just. 
So let's just recap. You got Andrea, Sasha, Matrix, Hurricane, JBL, CBT, Asda, Zengai, Liam, and Lo. That is how. That is how the top ten looks. Andrea on pole position by half a second, and now it's time to get a word from our sponsors. Are you looking for a more realistic F1 feel in your sim racing? ANSI 3D is the solution for you. ANSI 3D is a 3D printing company based in the United States. We sell F1 style wheels for Logitech G29, G920, and the G923 wheel set with all wheels including high quality real suede fabric on the handles for maximum comfort. All wheels can be fully customized by picking your own colors for the handles and buttons. Also, you get to select a free logo of your choice to be printed on your wheel. We also have all Formula One 3D printed tracks available for sale on our website. For more information or to place your order now, log on to our website at www.ansi3d.com. That's A-N-S-E 3D.com. Don't delay, check us out today. And I want to remind you, we also have Driver61 of one of, as one of our sponsors. Uh, remember, you can see the, you can go to sra.driver61.com for the Sim Racing Academy or Driver61 for all their content. Also, they're very important, their videos on YouTube. They're, they have been uploading some videos on YouTube. Let me check real quick. Mm, okay, don't pay attention to this. This is my... <laughs> Uh, uh, driver 61 they are they have been uploading some great videos where did McLaren McLaren's great pace come from the mistakes where I made in Imola where Mercedes are so far off the pace and they, they try to they try to, to to get some some good videos here so I hugely recommend them Formula One Reddit is hilarious, and they go through the Formula One Reddit. So yeah, uh, test that and, and 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 give it a try. It's going to be great. And we also have City Keys as one of our sponsors, and this is for yes. you. Yes. Yes, I've already gone through the recommend. I've already gone through the uh, recommendations. I've gone through. Uh, I've gone through Gears of War Three. I also brought up Motorsport Manager. Uh, as well, but the daily deals and there's uh, there's a v there's a very tasty variety here for uh, this week's uh, daily deals. You've got a massive 98% off Oblivion, which is the fourth entry in the Elder Scrolls series, and it's the Game of the Year Deluxe Edition as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a massive 98. Uh, percent off you've got uh, gtfo work together or die together is the tagline of the game 49 percent off dz 26 percent off uh you've got hell let loose at 36 percent off and you've also got no man's sky with a massive 70 uh, percent off you've also got games like dune spice wars age of empires 2 definitive edition monster hunter rise at 58 percent off right now uh, for those that are fans of the um uh, the Monster Hunter series. Um, no Man's it, Skies, uh, on... which actually has a beer. beer it's VR, uh, virtual reality supported with No Man's Skies. Oh, oh, oh yeah, so it does, yeah. Um, if you guys are looking for anything on... If you guys are looking for anything for your Switch, you can get a third off Mario Kart 8 uh, right now. And they've also got the... Um, they've also got the booster pack uh, as well, which will be the DLC tracks from like previous Mario Kart games. Uh, the, it's the uh, Mario Kart 8 Booster Course Pack. There you go, 27% off. Uh, you've also got um, you've also got other things here. You've got Animal Crossing. Uh, you've got the Expansion Pass for Pokemon Sword and Shield. The Legendary Collection of Borderlands at 68% off. Borderlands games are absolutely uh, fantastic. You've got a remaster of the Crisis Trilogy at 56% off. Uh, NBA 2K22, 76% off. Um, or, uh, you've also got the Bioshock collection, which is Bioshocks 1, 2, and Infinite, 73% off 
uh, as well. Now I now I finally managed to get around to starting Breath of the Wild earlier this week, and the expansion pass right now uh, is there. There's no there's uh, there's no discount on it at the moment, but uh, but that's still that's still a reasonable price for the expansion pass. Um, there's seventy seven percent off Monopoly as well if you're wanting to end any fr- if you're wanting to end any friendships as well. Um, Smash Brothers fans will appreciate this one. You've got um. Well, so again, again, no discount at the moment, but uh, uh, but for about for about twenty pounds, give or take. So uh, so you can do you can do the currency conversion yourself, folks. Uh, you can get one of the fighter passes for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which includes Sora from Kingdom Hearts and Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, the One Winged Angel, both characters making their debuts in the Smash series. So. Say there's there's a, there's a lot there on offer if you guys are wanting to get something on um, on your switch. Uh, we're still waiting for um, people to start readying up for the race. We should be getting ready any second now. Um, but um, I, I brought I brought this up a few weeks ago as I brought it up as my uh, recommendation of the week. Um, uh, a few weeks ago, like just a few days before it actually uh, got released, the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Right now, you can get that on PC at twenty-two percent off. It's on. Uh, I say it's it's on a number of platforms right now. You can also get it on Xbox here, um, as well. But nevertheless, here come the lights. You guys know what time it is. It's lights out and it's race time here at Monza. It's a very good start there from Andre, but Sasha already trying to get himself into uh, the race lead. And he's got Hurricane and JBL right beside him. And Sasha with an electric start. He's always shot it on the chicane and he almost goes there. But Sa- Andre keeps the lead. And the Tifosi still going absolutely bananas, but the Kazen guy has managed to get himself into fourth place in that Ferrari. There's a lot of drama happening in the midfield. You've got 2D uh, Ledger Waddle. You've got a few of those guys uh, involved as well. You got, I think that's the, that was the Alfa Romeo Low, and one of the Ferraris has gone spinning. It's someone's gone in the wall, and it's Low. Low is out of the race. Oh, well, that's huge! Virtual that's safety car. Virtual safety car. That's and huge it's a points. full safety car now. It is a full safety car, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my word! Low will be kicking himself over that one. Damn! So there that's we go. A great prediction. Uh... Um, fine. How, how I'm not I... overly concerned. I only. I'm not overly concerned. I only lost about a hundred points from that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh... We just need to get the. Uh, we just need to get the uh, the points distributed. Elegir resultado. Yes. There we go. We got a few drives coming. Except it's... And oh my word! Sasha's had to come in already. Sasha has had to come in already. Does he have damage? He does! He's had to change his wing! That is a massive hammer blow for Sasha. I can only imagine Frisdy is going to have a big Cheshire Cat grin on his face. I mean, look at this. Over half the field have had to come in to change their tyres. And... And get f- new front wings on, my goodness me. Liam on the hards, why has he done that? Yeah, but 2D, yeah, meanwhile, yeah, yeah. he's also... 2D has also got a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane as well. Jeepers John, he's the, big w- the biggest winner of points ever. He has redeemed like three tracks. Uh, I'm I'm giving some talks. I'm I'm in some talks to him because he has too many points. I don't know what to do with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, um, he's probably going to get a, he's probably going to get a standard edition game or something with with the amount of points he has to redeem now. Yeah. At this point, it wouldn't. At this point, it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. But yeah, um, but I'll what I'll say the um, uh, one thing I was one thing I was uh, bringing up before the um, uh, the race got underway um, was uh, a game that I that had in my recommendations of the week. Uh, as as my recommendation of the week, just a few days before the game actually released, was the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which I've I've pl I've been playing it for a, I've been playing it for a while now, and it is absolutely uh, fantastic. It's it definitely feels a lot different to the uh, previous um, Lego Star Wars games. Oh, it, it, it's. Have you played it already? Oh, I've I've been playing a, I've been playing it for a fair. Uh, is it is it a, 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 the mix of the old game of the old games or like the same levels or the f different levels? The, it's well, let's well, let's just say it feels more open world. Okay, 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 okay. So you're not I mean, in the you you're not in the in the canteen and and you stay there for. Oh, the oh, the canteen is the hub world. Uh, no, but um. But see, but the, uh, but like I say, it, it feels it feels more open world, and uh, where you can actually explore the entire galaxy in the Star Wars universe. Oh, nice. um, I say, and you've and you've still you've still got some, um, you've still you've you've still got some uh, iconic set pieces from uh, the series because I'm still on episode one right now. So you've still got the um, uh, the pod race that Anakin Skywalker is oh. um, uh, that is in, and of course. The duel of the fates as well. Oh, I mean, you, I mean you, you you can't do a Lego adaptation of Star Wars and not have duel of the fates from Episode One. Exactly, exactly. But I say, I say, right now it's a, right now it's about seventeen percent <laughs> off, uh, and <laughs> look it's at about seventeen percent off right now. Uh, if you guys are wanting to get it on them. Um, on CD key safety car coming in this lap. Jeebus John, that's his fourth track. <laughs> That's his fourth track. I, I I I should just give him XRL already. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're back on the way. Sasha is going to have a mountain to climb. He's already got himself back up to eighth place. Make that seventh as he comes up to the uh, Retrofilio chicane, trying to get ahead of the Ferrari. JBL is trying to get ahead of Zengai as well. But as it stands, there we go. Sasha managing to get a couple of positions off the restart, so well played to him. That's going to be a recovery drive and a half if he manages to pull it off. Ledger, meanwhile, tries to get himself ahead of Andre. Oh, my word! There was a bit of contact between them, and Andrea, unfortunately, had to yield position, and that means Ledger is in the lead, and Jacob is not too far behind. Sasha, meanwhile, battling with Matrix, to try and get into sixth place. Oh, this is going to be a drag race up to the Ascari Chicane. Who is going to blink? Who's going to break first? Sasha has the inside line. Cuts a little bit of the track. And oh. Spinning. oh, that's one for the stewards. That is definitely one for the stewards. Because that's Matrix at the back of the field. Sasha is now up into sixth. Not what he I think wanted. I, th I think Sasha's being a little bit aggressive with his maneuvers here to try and get back up to the front. Oof. Andrea, guy and disconnected Andrea and Ledger, meanwhile. Uh, yeah. Say, Andrea and Ledger, meanwhile, they are battling for this race lead. And they've still got a cup. They've still got to do another lap before DRS gets enabled. It looks like looks like Ledger is starting to pull away from uh, Andrea now. Got to bear in mind the DRS is going to be enabled on the next lap. Ledger having to use a bit more battery to keep himself ahead. Here we go, Sasha. Sasha on Zola for fifth place. 
And he's through with these. Tony, that's Tony gone. Oh, Tony DNF. Safety car again. And that's another safety car. How on earth has he done that? That's before the Ascari chicane. How's he done that? Before the Ascari chicane. Maybe some, someone hit him from behind. A little, a little tap, a little tap on the on the right, on the rears. So that that might very well be the case, but uh, at the end of the day, and people are starting to get into the pits. Sasha gets into the pits. Sasha back in. Now it's lap six. Considering considering safety car is going to be out for two laps, the pit window opens yeah. at lap eleven. Here in Monza, more or less. How much? How much is this going to hurt Ledger on his softs? He didn't pit. Oh, yeah, it's going to. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's what that's what I'm saying. How how much is this gonna hurt Ledger on the softs? Yeah, it's probably going to hurt. He yeah, has it, five more laps in those tires. Yeah. But the key thing here is is if Sasha plays his cards right, he might be able to take these mediums to the end of the race. But time will tell if that is the case. Give me one second. So we're on lap six. It's our second safety car of the race. One for low crashing at the Ascari chicane and one for 2D crashing before the Ascari chicane. And time will tell to see who time will tell to see what happens after this because safety car is going to need to do another lap here. CVT's had to come in. This is going to be... Well... That's... And that's a front wing change. Thinking... Oh, he's missing an end plate. CVT oh. was missing an end plate, so that's him. I was thinking about the ledger situation. He six lap old tires, but it's been two safety cars. So there's not been actual racing. So yeah, his tires not... might be a little bit more... Uh, more, more life in theirs. But at the same time, those that have come in on fresh me for fresh mediums, like Sasha, Zola, Matrix, Hurricane, Zengai, and um, and CVT, and say Zengai, a five-second penalty, that will be for speeding in the pit lane. Yeah. you got to take into account those that have fresh mediums on for pitting, under, uh, pitting at the beginning of this second safety car. you got to think they might... If they play their cards right, be able to get these tires to the end of the race. That's, uh, yeah, they could, they could do it. It will be, they will lose a little bit of tire wear, uh, or they, they will lose a little time at the end. But yeah, they, they could stretch those tires to the end. To be honest. Here we go, safety car, in this lap. So let's, so let's take stock of what's happening at the moment, folks. Ledger is leading the race. You've got Andrea in second, Jacob in third. Jaleb 4th, Waldo 5th, Liam 6th, as the 7th, Sash 8th, Zola 9th, and Warrington rounding up the top 10. That's the, uh, so that's the uh, top 10 at the moment. You've got Matrix, Hurricane, JBL, Zengai, and CVT still in the race as well. But you've also got 2D and Low who have both retired from the race. Andrea Eager. He gets to get going. Ledger drops the hammer, and we're back on the way here as we're almost a third of the way through the race already. Look at Jacob. He had a great here restart. Jake, Jacob's had a good restart. Is he going to be able to take that second place away from Andre as they head into the Retrofilio chicane? Oh, almost a bit of contact, Ooh, but Jacob, cool as stopping. you like. Cool as you like. He is through into second place, and the Tifosi will not be happy about that. 
but Waddington has managed to get himself ahead of Asda and Sasha on the restart. And as I say that, Sasha trying to get himself back ahead of uh, Asda into P8, and he is through. Waddington next on his hit list. Andre didn't have the best of restarts. He's down to third as a result of Jacob overtaking him at the uh, Retifilio chicane. Bit of a love tap there from uh, Sasha on the... Uh, Waddington, who is trying to work out a way to get past Jaleb in that Williams. Here he goes. We're on board with Sasha. This is going to be breaking. Oh, he breaks a lot. Breaks a oh. lot. Jacob! No, Jacob! Jacob was second! Jacob was second, and he's in the wall. It's a virtual safety car. Time for, for Ledger to pit. This is his opportunity, but he's going to drop to the back, though. That's the problem. But he's going to no... end up dropping yeah, to the back. Yeah, he can't yeah. afford to pit now because if he does, he's going to drop right to the back of the field. He needs to stretch that gap. Yeah, he. I think, I think he was caught out. I think he was caught out by that sa the first safety car. But here we go. Zengai coming in to serve his penalty. It's all kicking off here. Three cars gone at the Ascari Complex. We lost three there in qualifying. We lost three here in the race. So that's six victims over the course of the evening. I actually make that five because Jacob actually crashed at the exact same place he did in qualifying. That just that just shows how tricky this section of the track is. Yes, exactly. Espe especially the left hand one especially the left hand on the exit. If you take too much of that curb, very easy to spin out. Zengai Oh my word. He can't catch a break right now. Just when he managed to get rid of that five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane, he picks up a penalty for track limits. It's the first one of the day, so here we go. DRS is now enabled. It's going to hurt uh, Ledger here. Well, XIX. Should yeah. we call him XIX29 or no, 19 or? Also, what? Also, what? XIX is 19 in Roman yeah. numerals, folks. So we got XIX. See if he can keep Andrea behind him as long as he can, because they are starting to build a bit of a gap between um, themselves and those behind them. Uh, JLab is about two and a half seconds. He's he's, JLab is dropping behind by... by JLab is dropping behind from Sasha. He's almost three seconds behind him now. Here comes Andrea heading up to the Ascari chicane. He's going to try the outside line and he's through. Tifosi starts celebrating as Andrea says, thank you very much. I'll have a bit of that. And Andrea is back into the lead of the race. But this means Ledger is going to have the DRS down the pit straight though. Oh. XIX almost losing it there. Trying to. There we go. Uh, uh, Andrea trying to break. Andrea trying to break the slipstream as XIX through the Retrofield chicane and he's back into the lead. Sasha, meanwhile, gets himself ahead of Wado into eight, into fifth place. Now to start hunting. Uh, Liam and Waldo down who are battling over third place and Liam gets through without much difficulty Andrea and XIX side by side heading to, up to the Della Rosa chicane, but XIX keeps that Keeps the race lead for the time being as Andrea is now starting to drop behind He's gonna need to start charging that battery up. Otherwise. He's gonna be in trouble. Very smooth driving there from Andrea, heading through the 
Uh, Ascari Chicane. Is he going to try the outside line around Parabolica? No, he's going to keep behind XIX for the time being. Watto trying to get ahead of Sasha around the same corner. And Asda is dropping. A, he's dropped a couple of positions. Watto is ahead of uh, Sasha. But here we go. We've got a three-car drag race. This is three wide. Sasha, Waldo, and Waddington heading up to the Retrofilio chicane. But it's Sasha that gets ahead into P4. This is a phenomenal recovery drive from uh, from Waddington, uh, Sasha even. But Andrea, meanwhile, he's just biding his time. He's biding his time. He's waiting for the opportune moment to strike. Look, because Andrea is back in the lead. XIX needs to get... He needs to start building that gap because he'll drop down to 13th at the moment. Massive props to JLab though. He hasn't pitted yet either, but he's still currently 11th. <laughs> well, XIX may have to swallow his pride. He may have to come in and change his tyres. Hurricane getting ahead of Matrix into 7th place. So here we go. XIX has had to swallow his pride. He's had to come in for those mediums. And there he goes. As I said, as I predicted, down to 13th. How much time is he going to be able to try and make up? Sasha is 2.2 seconds behind Andrea. And he's got Liam bearing down on him. We're approaching half distance now onto lap 14 of 27 here and in the x1 division of the extreme racing league it's round five andrea currently leading he's yet to stop xix already making up a lot of lost ground he's already eight and a half seconds behind zola We don't know what the Deltas are doing at the moment because they've been uh, wiped off our screens for the time being. Hopefully we'll be able to get something as soon as we can. So Wellington on the back of Liam for third place. They've got Waldo in the Alpha Tauri behind them. What can be done? There we go, Delta's starting to come back now. Uh, Waddington and Waldo both within DRS range of Liam for third place. Liam, uh, Waddington having a little bit of a look. Just to make Liam aware that he is right behind him. Liam will be perfectly aware that he's got a Papaya and an Alpha Tauri behind him as well.
But Andrea holding station at the moment, keeping that gap at 1.7 seconds at the moment. Excellent, so there we go, uh, so we're on to lap 16 now, 12 laps to go, including the lap they're on, Jaleb and Andrea both still to pit, Wannington having a bit of difficulty trying to get past Liam, as Liam has a bit of a lock-up heading into Retifilio. Sasha like is Sasha... right behind Andrea, and Andrea still needs to pit, but I don't know if Sasha is going to make this, the complete race till the end, with those tires. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a bit. It might be a big ask for him to be able to do that. He's already. He's the, he's got the gap down. He did get the gap down to one and a half seconds, but Andrea tried to get that gap built back up as much as he can. And the crucial thing here is that it keeps Sasha out of DRS range. Waddington, meanwhile, has got Waldo behind him. They're going to try and find a way past Liam as they head up to the Ascari she came, but Liam. Plants the car in the middle of the track to keep both the McLaren and the Alpha Tauri behind him. Waldo's teammate, meanwhile, Matrix, gets himself ahead of Hurricane into sixth place. And now they've got As now they've got Asda bearing down on them as well. Waldo is attacking Guado. This sounds weird, but <laughs> He's trying yeah, to attack, uh, what, I believe this is Wellington, right? ETA Wado yeah, is well, Wado. Yeah, yeah. yeah, ETE Wado, yeah, that's uh, Wellington. So here he goes. He's going to try and get us. Oh! oh, God, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How he didn't put it into the wall after yeah. that is beyond me. <laughs> but that would have cost him a little, that would have cost him a bit of time going onto the grass. Wellington not able to get past Liam, doing exactly what he did, heading up to the Ascari chicane. Keeping the car in the middle of the road, allowing no room for anyone to get past. And we're going to be watching the replay real quick. Yeah, so I say that, I say that moment there. You see, you see the moment he goes onto the grass. He's almost, he's very close to losing the back end, but somehow keeps it in control. And as a result, it, and as a result, he stays in fourth place for the time being. So almost two-thirds of the way through the race here. And Sasha has pulled off a phenomenal recovery drive after Andres what happened the at the start. And there we go. That's the race leader in. That'll be soft to the end. 17 laps on those mediums. And fair play to him. And Waldo comes in as well. A lot of these medium runners that are well into double digits with their mediums will be looking to come in and get their tyres changed. Andrea onto the softs. Should see him to the end now. Pending However, the there's a lot of traffic. Yeah, he's got a lot of traffic to get through if he's going to have any chance of getting back into the race uh, into the race lead. He's now 21 seconds. So he's, um, so he, lo he lost about 22 seconds making that stop. But he's only got, he's only dropped down to ninth at the moment. But he'll start making, he, sh he should no doubt start making that time up very soon. Zengai back in again. That should be a set of sauce for him going to the end. So it's been a disappointing day for, Z for Zengai. Wellington, meanwhile, finally gets himself ahead of Liam into the Ascari chicane, and that gets him into second place. He will be breathing a huge sigh of relief as a result of that. But now Liam is going to get the DRS on Guado. Yes, heading on, heading onto the, uh, heading onto the back, uh, the pit straight now. There's nobody else around them. The crucial thing, so the, so the crucial thing, the other crucial thing here is that Wado is having to deploy his battery to keep Liam behind, but I don't think he's going to be able to do that. But he did exactly what Liam did: took a page out of his playbook, if you will, keeping the car 
in the middle of the road, and that allows Waddington to keep second place for the time being. As CBT and JBL both come in, they're going for soft to the end. That gives Andrea another couple of positions. He's about 11 seconds... <coughs> oh. He's about 11 seconds behind uh, the battle for... Uh, a battle for fifth place jellos, at the jellos, moment. Jellos. Matrix. That's, yeah, that's... Uh, that's not what he would have wanted. That'll, ex so that'll explain the yellow flag there. So yeah, that, that actually gives... Um, that gives Andrea a bit, uh, somebody else to start chasing for now. He's already, he's already got the gap down to three seconds. He's actually got it under three seconds now. Between now, him and Matrix is. Go go go. So yeah, uh, so he's al he's already made up three seconds on his first lap on those soft tires. However, he has only made one second from the leader. One and a half seconds from the leader. It's well, no, it's, three seconds to be honest. Three seconds. Yeah, and Sasha get, and Sasha is uh, Sasha sets the fastest lap of the race so far. Waddington, meanwhile, he comes into the pits. That's gonna give that's gonna give uh, Andrea another uh, race position. There we go, softs to the end. Andrea, there we go, fastest lap of the race with a one twenty one seven eight six. That's actually not. I said that's only. It's just under. It's just over two seconds off his best time in qualifying. Now. If Sasha pits, he's not winning the race because Andre is coming through. Give me so one second. Sasha is gonna, Sasha is gonna, Sasha is gonna need to stretch those tires as long as he can. The gap down to 17 seconds now. Andrea is a man on a mission to get a win for Alfa Romeo and for the Tifosi. We got Andrea right on the back of Matrix for fifth place at the moment. Are there going to be any more runs coming into the pits? No, there is not. Yeah, the last time we saw Alfa Romeo win a Formula One race was at was in 1951. So over 70 years since we last saw Alfa Romeo win an F1 race. It's been a while since we've seen them win a race here in XRL. The 1951 Spanish Grand Prix was the last time Alfa Romeo won an F1 race. Andrea now set just under seven seconds behind Asda, but he's really putting on the charge. Gap down to 14 seconds. Can Andrea catch Sasha in time? As Andrea's still got a bit of traffic to catch up to as Andrea sets another fastest lap of the race, 121.5. As Hurricane gets ahead of Liam into third place. Uh, second place, sorry. Uh, Liam in third, Asda in fourth. A great battle here for second place and while all this is happening it's allowing andrea to start catching up piece by piece well like i said the big question is can he make up enough time he's got the gap down to 13 seconds between him and sasha gap down to four and a half seconds he's, re he's really motoring along is andrea 
4.4 seconds now. Four and a half seconds between him and the battle for second place. And then from there, he'll need to make up another seven seconds. Who knows what's going to happen in the last five laps of the race. Down to 3.9. The lead, 12 and a half seconds. So if Andrea can keep going at this pace, he might be able to pull something out of the bag. The time will tell the gap down to 3 Point seven. He's made up half a second in just a handful of corners. CVT ahead of Zola and Matrix ahead of JBL. This is going to be a really tight finish for Andrea. We've surprisingly had little to no penalties for track limits today. Everybody's been on their best behavior in terms of track limits, so fair play to them. Yep, down to three seconds between Andrea and this battle for second. So Andrea needs to start closing in now. 11 and a half seconds. He can see the, he can see the second place battle in his... Because he can see them in the distance. There we go. There he goes. He can see them. There they are. This is going to be another fast lap. Not, it's a 121.9 for him. Gap down to 2.6 seconds between him and second place. Well, effectively second place. 11.6. He needs to start making some time up here if he's going to have a chance of getting the race win. But it's a big, big ask because he needs to get ahead of these guys and catch Sasha at the same time. Is it going to be enough, though? Gap down to 2.4 between him and se uh, the battle for second. He's managed to make up half a second in that chicane. He's really rattling along here. Gap down to 11.1. He might not... He might run out of... He might run out of time to catch Sasha. Sasha will be breathing a huge sigh of relief if he can keep... In a prime position to win the race. Gap down to 1.4 seconds. The gap is still coming down here. Andrea needs to clear these guys as quickly as he can. He's not going to have DRS on this lap. As we're on lap 25 of 27. I think Andrea's run out of time here. He's not going to get the race win. He's not going to get the race win here. It's a real shame. We'll wait and see what happens. And oh, Asda's gone off. That's one less driver for Andrea to worry about. The mediums will be dead by this point. Andrea needs to make up nearly three and a bit seconds a lap. It's a huge ask for him to be able to pull it off. But there we go. He's now crucially... Got himself into DRS range of those ahead of him. What can he pull out of the bag here? It looks like at best he'll finish second. And here he goes. This is for, th this is for third place. Liam drag racing him down to Parabolica. He's not going to give up that position without a fight. Andrea, there he goes, into third. He needs to make up nine seconds on Sasha. He needs, realistically, he needs Sasha to make a mistake here to have any chance of getting the race win here. Liam, Liam trying to use the DRS to try and get ahead of Andrea, but it's not working on this occasion. If there was more time for Andrea, he would definitely be looking at getting 
the race win here. JBL, he's uh, he's going to be going for the fastest lap outside the top 10. Zola's had the same approach. There we go, into second place goes Andrea. There he goes. Eight seconds to make up on the last lap. Can't quite see Sasha in the distance yet. But Sasha with his recovery drive. I've got to give Sasha driver of the day for this one. The more time that passed, the less likely it was for Andrea to get the race win here. It's not going to be enough on this occasion. He won't get the race win he wanted on home soil. But one thing he will get is a podium for his home fans. His first Italian Grand Prix. He'll be elated over getting a podium at his home race. We're going to have to cut to Sasha now. He's coming up to the Ascari chicane here. Takes it very smoothly through there. That's it. He's done everything he needs to do. He didn't have the best of starts, but as the old adage goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Didn't have the best of starts, but my goodness me. He has had a phenomenal finish here. And Sasha takes the lead of the championship by winning the Italian Grand Prix. A phenomenal performance from him. Andrea, take a bow. Second place. Ryan in third. That's your podium. Liam finishes in fourth. I suppose he'll be happy with that. Second and fourth. For Italian cars, as the fifth, Waldo six, Wannington coming around the last couple of corners now. And there's yellow flags, and that's Matrix. Is Matrix going to lose some points? He's lost an end plate. And I think CVT got caught up as well. I don't know! Oh, that's huge! That is a very unsafe rejoin. And that's put Matrix out of the race. That surely will be a huge penalty for CVT. He crosses the line out of the points. JLab finishes 10th, CVT 11th, Zola 12th. And Zengai is going to finish in P13. Waldo in the Alpha Tari gets driver of the day. So let's recap the race results here. You've got Sasha, Andrea, Ryan, Liam, Asda, Waldo, Waddington, XIX, JBL. He, and then you've got JLeb. That's your top 10. Andrea gets the fastest lap of the race. CVT, Zola, Zengai. Uh, Matrix showing as classified, but uh, after Service. crashing into CVT uh, Right at the right at the end, that uh, that was his race over, and then you, the rest of your DNS. You've got Jacob, 2D, and Low. Uh, sorry, I'm back. Uh, let's hear it for Sasha.
There it is, guys. Sasha, congratulations on the win. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much, Kenzie. Phenomenal Kenzi. performance there. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Like I said, phenomenal performance there. What a recovery drive that he managed to pull off. Managed to keep his cool in the race. And as a result, uh, nothing for that. He, he definitely deserves drive of the day for me. Definitely driver of the day. Uh, well, thank you very much, folks, uh, for for being here with us in this stream. Remember, we won't, we will have uh, F3 in the PC uh, XRL Twitch account, and we will have X2 in one hour from now uh, here in this in this channel. Uh, next weekend, we will not see you because it's the Miami GP and it clashes with the times. But we will see you after. Yes, and we'll just. Um, so I'm just going to quickly double check the uh, calendar for that so uh yeah next week well so as uh as he said next week we won't have any xrl action because we've got my, the miami grand prix uh to look forward to next week uh but we'll be back the week after that for another iconic circuit spa francorchamps for the belgian grand prix that yes. is going to be an absolute barnstorm, especially if it's a wet race. But until then, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, uh, we've got, so we've got, um, as we mentioned earlier, we've got the uh, Formula Three uh, taking place later this evening, uh, but that's on iRacing. But if you want more XRL coverage for the Formula One, we've got X2 in just over uh, an hour's time, and that will round up this week's XRL coverage. But until then, folks. It's good night from us.